Hi, welcome to another Archicad speed modeling tutorial. Today I want to tell you about um, plugins on the facade. All right, let's have a quick look here. What I've got ready is just a simple project and on this facade now I want to add cladding but not as a texture, I want to have it in 3D. It will render much nicer and let's see what we can do. There's a couple of, you know, a lot of other ways, you, you, different ways you can do it. I, I show you one simple way is um, let's open um, a library part and you go into basic libraries, special construction and you click on basic shapes and you can see we got a grid here and that's the one I want to use. Okay, so let's just go back because I needed vertical. Let's click on that one and we give it a frame thickness of 10. The edge, I want it on 10 too. Um, frames, you know, in this direction, 7-7, seven, seven. just leave that for now. What's maybe important too is the surface. I will actually, I will take the glass out. I don't need that, so the filling here Take it out and the frame, I want to make it um, a dark color. I've got here a stripe material. I'll put this on cutting elements because that's what we do. All right, let's just place this here for now. Let's go into 3D, let's see. All right, there we go. So if you've got this now, what I want to do is I wanted to take this now along the facade. You can see here, I put a little hotspot there so I know where my facade actually goes all the way to the ground, which is just here. Let's just have another quick look. Yeah, that's just here. All right, so we take this now, extend it there, and let's just lengthen that. And we go all the way Let's go all the way here. All right. So, that's what we got for now. Next bit is, you take this and you select and you stretch it up all the way to the corner there. There you go. All right. Next bit is we do select this and just move it halfway into the wall. I mean, it's up to you. I just, for this purpose of tutorial, that's what I do. So you can see what I'm, um, what I'm getting at. All right, so this is sort of within our wall. All right, so what we do is now, we will um, use the solid element operation and I get target elements first. My target is the wall and I'll take as an operator element, I'll take my grid here. All right, and all I do is take the normal sub subtraction. And because I gave it a material quite a dark one, I'll tell it to inherit from operator. We'll see what I mean in a moment. So let's execute that. And we can hide this now. Let's hide that layer. All right, so you see, this is perfectly cut. There you go. All right, we've got a couple of options now. Obviously, I want to extend this along here. So let's just go back and um, take this grid and duplicate it along here. So what I do is now, it's just mirror one. So I mirror a copy. There you go. And one thing I need to do is, you see at the moment, this would be the double size. If, if, if that's your, your frame, you would have to move this above each other. Let's just take it from here to here. All right. And we shorten this, of course. 
very nice. All right, you can see now we've got this grid extended along here. I didn't take the whole grid because this one is not the same length as you could see. I had to shorten that grid a bit. Now, obviously, what we do is we get back and just do the same thing here. Select as an operator element and we execute. So if I turn this layer off now, <laughs> wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Let's do it again. Export, there you go, I turned that off. Perfect, all the way along. Now what's important, and I'll show you here, did that on purpose so you can see what's happening. This is not correct here because we did not select this um, wall as a target element. So what we do is now, we just do this again. I turn that back on, select this. You can see already what happens. Select this target elements and take this one, operator, execute. Now, if I turn this one off, you can see that worked perfectly now. So you gotta be really careful what you do, okay? The next bit, you can see how it cut here. It did cut this off and obviously again, you just have to be careful what you do is, so you take this and this really has to be extended a tiny bit further out. You know, you can zoom in, there you go. So this is now sticking out. So if we turn, I got my layer set, I can just turn it off that way. See, now I've got this very cleanly. Okay, the same thing at the top. I mean, it's up to you. This is just purely to show how you do it. You know, you have to adjust maybe that grid a little bit. Now, what is really cool with this grid is, because everything is still connected, I mean connected, the cutting element is connected to the target elements, the walls. So if I now go back in here and I turn them back on, then, and we change that to actually we can select them both together in the height. So let's just change that to four. There you go. So that's changed now to four. And because it's also connected, as I said before, you can just turn that layer off. There you go. So now your cladding looks different to the one before. In all of this, you just use this cutting element and you change it. Let's do it one more time. It's just really handy because as we know, our clients, nine out of 10 times, they will come back to us with changes, new, you know, design changes. And so I always try to model a way where I can actually then go and change anything I want pretty quickly. All right, so I save that again. It just make it quite, make it 10, just to give you an idea. And well, done. All in 3D and it will render out perfectly. Let's just render one off quickly. Let's go back here. All right. Okay, there's one more thing which is handy if you have um, uh, if you use the library part, and that is, of course, if you um, want to change now the thickness of the grid or, you know, the stripes, sort of the, the grooves in between. Again, that's just easy done, because at the moment we have the edge. Let's just keep the edge on 10, but the frame thickness. To show a bit more, let's, let's make it 30, just to see the difference. And then we turn that off again. There you go, it's much thicker now. All right. Great, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I see you back next time. Bye for now.